this is me, only it really isn't. It's an AI influencer model taken from my Instagram. And this is just the PG version. So is this the end for content creators? Yeah, but that's crazy, because you wouldn't know that's a fake image. Lowry Rose is a content creator with hundreds and thousands of followers. What scares me is that AI generated influencers, which are kind of like, take our jobs, I guess, because they could be used to like sell things and promote products. It took less than two days for these AI images to come back and cost less than 30 quid. And now there's a model of me, I can continue to get photos in a matter of hours. There's already some pretty famous ones out there. I like the personal aspect of social media, but I know that things are going to change and you either keep up or you get left behind, so it's something I'm going to have to look into. But there's still so much unknown about the tech. For example, we chose hot and beauty photos and you can describe exactly how you want your model to look, meaning it can be as extreme as you want. I think you shouldn't be profiting off of a woman. You can't just generate a woman and make her really hot and then make money off it. The market is already so oversaturated. Everyone wants to be an influencer. Everyone wants to be like OnlyFans. Like everyone wants to be online and make money. So now you can create so many more profiles so much quicker and create fake profiles. So yeah, that's a very scary thought. I spoke to the creator of the software. When I got mine, they're quite stereotypically attractive bodies, I guess. Do you feel like that such a category type of hot images, but also in general for influencers we want to create attractive or for example Instagram we want to give such attractive images to users. So will content creators have to work alongside AI or will it just take over?